All right, it looks like we've got another Archbase distribution that's uh, coming out here. And uh, this one is called Liquid Lemmer, and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, it seems there are a lot of arch base distros coming out of the woodwork here. This was another request, and we are looking at Liquid Lemmer. And let me tell you, this is a cool-looking arch base distribution that attempts to keep it simple. Not easy. All right, well, let's have a look at this. You're going to be surprised at what you see, what you get here. Now, this is using the XFCE user interface. Okay, and at the top of the screen, you will see you get your power selection, your time, your battery indicator, your network, and then, of course, volume indicator. And then up here, we have a menu. We'll look at the menu in a little bit. First, let's go ahead and take a look at this really cool panel that we have down here on the bottom. Now, uh, I'm not sure what this panel is about. Uh, this looks like this could be the XFCE panel that has just been skinned. And look at the effects they've applied to this panel. You'll also see there's a really cool little shortcut menu that it throws in here with all kinds of little eye candy and special effects, which I think is kind of cool. You get Thunderbird Chromium. XChat IRC terminal and the lightweight Thunar file manager. I love the icon theme they included on this. Very neat. And you can even see that when you go into your home folder here, uh, you'll notice uh, they have a really nice uh, icon set. Very nice to look, look at. Very appealing indeed. With your file menus up on the, up on the upper panel. Okay, well now let's go ahead into the uh, menu here and see what you get with this. Now this will fit on a CD, which is interesting. And of course you have your regular shortcuts to the terminal emulator, the file manager, the mail reader, and the web browser. And then of course your standard complement for all of XFCE settings. All right, now in accessories you get 7-zip file manager. You get application finder, bulk rename, calculator, help, leaf pad, screenshot, task manager, terminal, soon our file manager, and X-Archiver. In development, you get Gini, Glade Interface Designer, and WX Form Builder. In graphics, you get the GIMP and Ristretto Image Viewer. In internet, you get Avahi SSH Client Browser, Chromium, Dropbox, FileZilla, Nuvola Player, Pigeon, Internet Messenger, Thunderbird, Transmission, WICD, XChat IRC. In Multimedia, you get Exhale, Gnome M Player, Mixer, the Nuvola Player, QT, Test Utility, and XF Burn. And in Office, you get Abbey Word, one of my favorites, and GNU Merit. In system, you get the Zero Comp Browser, Bulk Rename, Cairo Doc with no OpenGL. Okay, so that's what it is down there. And it looks like they also have the OpenGL version as well, if you have your graphics set up as well. The Decomp Editor, Gparted, and there's an Install button for installing this, a Task Manager Terminal, and the Thunar File Manager. All in all, for an arc spin, this looks really cool, but if you're going to use this, you still got to read the documentation on the Arch Wiki. All in all, this looks really well thought out, nicely put together, uh, very attractive for having an XFCE user interface. I'd like to uh, thank you guys for suggesting this one to me. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Later on tonight, we are going to be having the Toscast podcast with the Linux A-Team, and you won't want to miss that one, so stick around.